King G. Gross sight. ENT. <laughs> Rock with it. Rock with it. Rock with it. Rock with it. Let me, let me pop my shit. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me pop my shit. Hands up. What's going on, Ralph? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. You know, just sitting here drinking my nice smoothie, enjoying this nice Sunday morning. I was wondering what was in your cup. You know, I was hoping that was, you know, some orange juice or no. something. <laughs> it's it's a it's, <laughs> it's an assortment <laughs> of fruits and I think some spinach. Okay. Yeah. Spinach and fruit? Mm-hmm. That's different. I ain't never had that before. I okay. haven't either. Okay, healthy. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. You made it? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. My <laughs> I did not make this. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel you. Okay, you got to tell her it's good, you know, so she don't hurt her feelings. Yeah, she was trying to take my cup <laughs> yeah, earlier. Man, it was so good. <laughs> it's just so good. It's just so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my god! It's actually it's this, actually this not that bad. This fruit. This <laughs> so you said it's a smoothie. So it's all just like blended up together. Yeah, it's it's pretty much what you'll get at Smoothie King. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. All right. All right. You ready for this interview? As ready as I will ever be. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hopefully, we get some enjoyment out of this, some good laughter, um, and hopefully, the fans will learn a bit more about Rafael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, f- first question of the day: What is a blur to you? A blur is, you know, POCs of you know people of color that like things that are different from what everyone else is. Everybody has their own little niche. Everybody has their own little thing that, you know, that they are passionate about, that they like, that they enjoy, that others may not, you know, find the same liking of. Like, of course, you know, not everybody likes anime, except you do have that people that does like anime. Not everybody likes tech. Not everybody likes, you know, Disney. Not everybody still watches Cartoon Network or even just normal television shows on regular cable TV. So, you know, you have your own little thing of what you enjoy that people may not, you know, like all the time. So that's what I feel like, you know, being the blurred is and, you know, falling in line with what you like the most instead of, you know, following what everybody else wants to like all the time. So. Right, right. Yeah, I think we all got a little nerd in us. Um, some people might not consider themselves to be nerds, but you can nerd out about a lot of things over a lot yeah. of things, that is. You know, it doesn't just have to be anime or manga or cartoons, whatever. It, you know, it could be a lot of things that you can nerd. Some people nerd out about cars. Like, this is, is, that you is got true. your obsessions. So, hey. Pick what you want. I feel like a- that old stereotype. Yeah, that old stereotype that we used to have. I, I feel like that's. You know, just those guys that were doing random things in class, like throwing Naruto hand signs and running with their hands behind their backs. You know, that's just not the only <laughs> definition of a nerd. I was so. definitely one of those people that was running <laughs> with my hands back. Though I was one of those down guys. The hallway. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> people, people may not, people may not know this. So I didn't do it in school, though, so you know, I, I had to. Oh no, <laughs> I did it. I did it in in school. I wish somebody <laughs> would say something to me. <laughs> I wish. So not you was out here beef folks up. Not you. <laughs> I'm gonna no, throw my no, hand no, signs. No. Who go? Who go pop me? Who go? <laughs> I was definitely one of those kids that was walking around with a Beyblade in their yeah. pocket. Like, who want to fight? It? That's weird. I never had a Beyblade. I don't, well, I may I may have had one, but I've, I've never. I, I don't think I was obsessed over the actual like. Wasn't it a show? It was a show, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a show. Or was it just? It was a show. I don't think I ever really just watched the show, but I used to like to have the toy. 
<laughs> so I just oh, wanted the, to see it spin. That the toy was, was lit. I ain't gonna lie, the toy was lit. I had the little remote control one on the joystick that, like, if you pull the trigger, it'll pull back Ooh. and forth. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was. Complete. I didn't have that fancy stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon now. You probably could. They probably gonna oversell, but I don't know. Yeah. They, you know, that resale stuff. They be going crazy. <laughs> I wish I would have kept it. Now, I'm pretty sure. It's I wish worth I would a lot. Oh my god! I wish I would have kept a lot of stuff, cause man, what they be selling like these old cartoon DVDs and collections and stuff like for hundreds of dollars, and I'd be like, mm-hmm. man, what y'all are crazy? <laughs> but I understand though. It's the nostalgia. Can't beat it. It's the nostalgia because I make my kids sit down and watch these old television shows. You gonna watch? You <laughs> you gonna watch this? Because I grew up on this. You're going to watch this orange Rugrats I don't understand what it's. Uh, VHS tape right now. <laughs> it's cow and chicken. <laughs> oh my all right. Goodness. All right. So next question. So you told us what a blurred is to use. So what made you join the Blurred Mob podcast? What made me join, um, pretty much forced me to join. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, I was actually <laughs> doing, <laughs> she might fire me right here. <laughs> this going to be the question. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but nah, I mean, I was doing the graphic design, uh, beforehand, um, was, was, you know, really, really got settled. Well, once Fook really got settled into doing other things in the podcast and, you know, she reached out, I started doing the graphic design stuff and, you know, I kind of, I kind of asked, you know, possibility of, you know, maybe joining and she was like, hmm, that just don't seem like a bad idea. I went to Ryan and they both talked about it. It was, I, I pretty much fit in like our normal friendship goes, you know? Pretty much just fit in with a different personalities. We all come yeah. together and make each other laugh. Yeah, pretty much. So how so how long exactly has it been since you've been apart? Almost you know? two years now, I wanna say. I just honestly, time has been a blur. So I would I would imagine almost two years now. Honestly, I think with the podcast, it's just you guys, like you said, you kind of already talk about these type of things already, so you might as well put it on a podcast. So it's kind of just natural. Time yeah. might just flow by. Yeah, it's really natural. Like the conversations that we have in the podcast is really conversations that we, you know, had throughout our our friendships. Like we literally ask each other these questions outside of the podcast and have discussions. So it's all natural. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next question. So in the podcast, you've kind of made yourself known as kind of like that guy who knows a lot about music, who really enjoys different um, genres of music, stuff like that. So Mm -hmm. as a music connoisseur, who is the most downplayed artist in your eyes? And this can be like overall, um, I guess, past few years, you know, your lifespan i guess or you could say currently who is the most downplayed artist oh boy honestly it's not just one particular person so i feel like it's really one particular area and i feel like people it's like people are starting to get a little whiff. Well, I would say the United States itself is starting to get a little whiff of UK rappers or just UK hip hop in general. Like I, I'm starting to listen to more uh, UK hip hop people, uh, Wicked, um, Little Cap. Like I'm, I'm really starting to venture out more into like other other countries for different music. Cause you know, it. I ain't gonna lie, the US with music has been hasn't been completely disappointing, except it's been iffy. 
right now. And it's kind of in a weird spot. So I I pretty much listen to a lot of the old, like, you know, early 2010, some new songs, you know, but majority of the time I'm either listening to R&B um, or the earlier hip hop ages of what we grew up with, you know, like, yeah. I don't, I don't listen to a lot of the new people that are coming out. You think it's because you're getting older and you just don't like the newer music and maybe the younger generation does and you're just like, <laughs> this ain't what it used I'm to be. I'm turning into my, my parents, bro. <laughs> I'm turning into my parents. <laughs> you ain't got to, you ain't got to say it like that though. Because God. what if, you know, what if, what if it's just us? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong at all. But I do, I do feel I like I, I agree. I agree on that part, though. Like I, I don't know. It's Go it's ahead. like when you when you look at music now versus when you know when we came out, music was you know a lot more memorable, a lot more passionate. Now, you know, people are pushing out music just to kind mm-hmm. of push out music, like. For instance, people don't, you don't have to always put out an album every year. If you make a good album, you know, like for instance, J. Cole makes albums that doesn't come out every year, except they still be bangers. Kendrick Lamar does. Mm. Lil Wayne doesn't put out an album all the time. Like Andre 3000, Outkast wasn't even putting out albums all the time. And they were still making Mm -hmm. good quality music. But nowadays, people right. want albums every year. And I don't know if that's just what people are wanting to digest quicker or what it is. But it it's like if you put out if I feel like you put out an album every year, you're not putting a lot of thought into what you're saying. You're not a, you're not putting a lot of thought into your lyrics. You're not putting a lot of thought into your beat of what you're making, because everything nowadays is pretty much just remakes of everything we used to listen to. But people don't really realize that because they don't listen yeah, to a lot of, you know, the earlier music. So that's that's my take on the music right now. I feel, I, I feel so, I feel so old when I get like my little cousins and stuff, and they're listening to this song, and it's like a beat that was made in like the nineties or early two thousands, and I'm like, you know where this beat came from, right? And they're like, no. It came from this song. And I'm like, no, it did not. No. <laughs> what do you mean? This? Like, hold on. This let me let me sit you, you down saying? for a second. Come on. Come on. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm telling you, so those little oh, moments on. make us feel like, like they be, we're they getting be, older. I'm like, come on. You know this is a Keith Sweat song. You know Keith Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me right now. <laughs> it's it's getting out of hand. I do think that a lot of um, I do think that a lot of music that's put out right now, like you said, is kind of just like it's just not that same soul and energy that we used to get back back when we were growing up. And I think now it's kind of because I think it has something to do with like social media. You know, if you can get a beat out there and people can make like a video to it, there you go. It, you might have the most trash song that's out there, but look, as long as that beat was fire, they're gonna make some out of it. And yeah, look, that, that is true. <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about in the song. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, song everything that I've that heard day. on TikTok. That beat, that beat got you some views. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's at least a good 90% of TikTok, of TikTok sounds. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's the future. Oh my goodness. That, that's our future. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. All right, so let's move on to the next question. So, in 2022, you were dealing with a lot. Um, you kind of, um, of course, your everyday um job, your work. Um, you went through a move. You're working on a podcast. You were doing like personal training, your own streaming. Is there going to be any changes um in 2023 for you? Um. Changes, I would say, you know, still just getting used to the balance of doing everything, really. Um, right now, I did not change it on my LinkedIn, but I did end up getting a new position 
at um at my workplace. You know, thank God for that. Um and I'm happy for that. I'm grateful. Uh this is gonna be pretty much a new experience for me and um, you know, just getting more experience for my actual career and everything like that. But um I did stop personal training, but I still am going to the gym. I think last year I was almost scratching 250, which is crazy for how I look in person. I don't look mm-hmm. like I weigh that much, yeah. but I did. And Not me. I th- <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Uh, I- <laughs> but, but I think at the end of the year, I went from I was around like two forty eight um around like August and I ended the year at like two thirty three. So I dropped down a good amount of weight. Okay. Um, you know, in a couple of months. I wasn't really consistent, consistent because, you know, of course the move happened. I had to take time off for that. And then I ended up getting sick right after that and then holidays started happening and you know all of that started happening but the only thing i did keep up with during last year was eating healthy that was the only thing that kept the living so i pretty much just stayed the same weight so i'm still i think i'm still sitting at like 235 so i plan to lose i plan to lose maybe about 10 15 more pounds before my birthday so Pray with me. Okay, okay. Wishing you the best. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on that journey. Um, it's not an easy one. <laughs> At so, all. With with all that being said, is there on uh, uh, is there anything you can kind of for anybody out there, kind of who have a lot on their plate, is there any like time management advice you might have for those yeah, people? I'm probably the worst person to ask for time management because I don't have a schedule. I pretty much just kind of, <laughs> I pretty much just kind of wing it, as far as that goes. But I do want to get into, you know, making like a a bit of a set schedule for myself, um, because I have I've I felt I fell behind in wanting to stream, you know, with everything going on at the end of last year, um, and, you know, also still, you know, um, managing relationship, you know, social status and just all around friendships. You know, it, you, it's like you have to find that that good balance that works for you. Of course, you're not going to be able to do everything, but you do have to figure out what balls are plastic and which ones are glass in your life. Once you figure that out, then you can, you know, start organizing. OK, how do I want to fill up my basket, you know, every day or even every week or every month? Like once you figure out which balls are glass and which ones are plastic, I feel like that will help people so much more in life. They just, you know, just going out and just doing any and everything they want. You know, that's that's just my take on it. I'm not a life specialist. I just give I just try to give the best advice I can. Don't come for me. I want you to be my life coach. (laughs) Oh, no, 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 no. I I knew that was Time management is, I think that's kind of hard for a lot of people. Um, You know, you get older and it's just a lot of things going on. You kind of got to like schedule. You got to schedule a lot, a lot of things, like a lot more than we did when we were in like college and stuff like that. We were kind of just wing, we wing it, we we might wing it now, but in college, we were winging it a lot more. Now it's like, come on, okay. (laughs) It's like, all right, I'm planning all the way out to next year, the year after that. It's like, you got to. Years be flying by. The time is kept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, that, that, these these knees and this back and these shoulders <laughs> ain't the same no more. I, didn't, I need a healthcare specialist now. <laughs> Man, don't worry. My my birthday I'm coming up. It's gonna be time for me to get some to insurance on my knees. Game. We got to worry about now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Are your knees covered? <laughs> yeah, I just got my knee insurance. <laughs> I gotta get it the Megan some- package. 
it covers one replacement knee every year. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> Mm, I'm gonna need so you can't blow out both of your knees. <laughs> you can't blow out both of your knees in one year because they only go in place one. <laughs> oh uh, uh, so you gonna be limping. You better get you a game. <laughs> that that's the premium package if you want both knees. <laughs> no, nah, listen, I made that cane work. I, I'll be like the guy on the Powerpuff Girls getting out the car real slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I walked in work. I, every time I see that video, I'm gonna think of that song. Every, you know, I walked in working my show. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. All right. So <laughs> let's see what else I got. Um. So, would you ever consider doing podcasting as a full time job? And if you did, what check boxes would need to be checked for you to do that? To make that switch. Would I do podcasting as a full time job? I would say yes. Um, you know, I would I would honestly say yes. And the only reason I would say yes is is because I've also ventured out into streaming. And if I feel like if I feel like doing podcasting and doing streaming at the same time, you know, I can because podcasting is more of like a daytime thing. And then at night, I could still do my streaming and stuff. But you, you know, still bring in people be like, hey, if you enjoy my stream, you can come catch us, you know, catch me and the gang in the podcast and that'll bring in more views and stuff. But like little check boxes that I would probably check for doing that would be, you know, of course, endorsements, um, being partners with different companies, um, having our name good enough out there to where, you know, uh, you know, like not everybody would know us, of course, but. I don't I don't want to be that famous. I don't I don't want to be that famous to where, oh, my God, he's a celebrity now. You know, I just want to be. At least well known in 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 communities to where, oh, you know, there's one of the bird mom members. You know, if I wear a jacket or something, you recognize what I'm wearing. You respect what I'm wearing. And, you know, just just being able to interact with, you know, the people that like us, enjoy us, watch us, listen to us. You know, things like that. That's that's things that I want to be able to check out, you know, pretty much yeah. just growing with the community that we're, you know, having and things like that. Yeah, that makes sense. I think podcasting, um, streaming, podcasting, all of that is a full time job. I mean, do what you love, make money from it. Get just oh, yeah. get engaged with your community type stuff. That's that's like you know that would be real nice. You know? That man got to be able to put food on the table though, so you got to check that box. Got to pay uh, them bills. <laughs> but uh, I think that would be nice though. Got to pay them oh, yeah. bills because them bills, you know, five four three two one, the rent is due. <laughs> it's it's they yeah, ain't they gonna wait for no you. Game. <laughs> they go. We are not. They out here like the gross I'm sisters. Tell you, they, be, they be whooping me. I'm like, golly. I paid last month rent. Y'all want me to pay it this month too? Like, <laughs> it's always pay the rent. What about you, you good this month? We got we got you, fam. <laughs> you know, just drop a little note by we my door you, and be like, hey, we got you this month. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, we got you. You know, you paid the past five, six months, whatever, on time. We're going to give you a month full, off. Fully, all that. We're we going to give you a month off. We, <laughs> no, everybody's selfish. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm tired. I'm selfish. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. This is good. <laughs> It's, it's ghetto. Take me out the game. <laughs> Take me out there. I need a break. Put me on the bench. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So let's go on to our next question. If you had to recommend one anime for someone who has never watched anime before, what would you recommend? Hmm. Which is funny because it's not any of the originals. And the reason why I mm-hmm. say it's none of the originals is because you have to think about what people watch, you know, in their daily life. Like, 
a lot of the stuff nowadays mm-hmm. do not, you know, old old school animes does not look anything like the new school animes, but it has a different feel and it has a different place in our yeah. hearts because, you yeah. know, we watched it at the beginning. We fell in love. That's how we fell in love with anime. But if I were to recommend nobody mm-hmm. that's never watched anime, but I at least know they watch animated things, I would give them Attack on Titan. That would that would probably be my number one. If you cannot fall in love with Attack on Titan, I, I don't I don't know what else would really work. I don't want to say Demon Slayer because, or even My Hero Academia because they cry a lot. Mm-hmm. The main characters cry a lot. So it, that's true. It's like I don't want to give them a crybaby show as their starter. Mm-hmm. So I will. I have to say, hmm. Attack on Titan. Okay, I think if a person's gonna, hmm, I, I remember when we were trying to get food to watch Attack on Titan, and she was like, and she was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, they got a, they got too much going on. These folks, these got, they eat people. <laughs> So it's definitely one. It's it's definitely one of those shows. You gotta you gotta recommend it to the right person because they gonna be like, what is that? They gonna be like, uh uh-uh, uh, what is this? <laughs> uh, it's it's definitely a good show. I think the the storyline is. I think the storyline is good. I think if they could get past, if they don't like like the gory type of stuff like that, you know, because it's showing mm-hmm. a lot of blood and type guts and all that. So if they don't like stuff like that, I think they would have a hard time. But if they don't mind that, I think I think they could. I don't know. I, I mean, watch it. I would. I, I do. I, just, I agree with you though. Um, finding something that kind of relates to what they like in real, what they like on their day to day, like uh, kind of correlates to the, their everyday shows. You know, like if I'm a lawyer, law and order type of guy, I might recommend them something that's along those lines. You know, something to yeah. ease them in before I start showing them all this, all this crazy stuff. Maybe something like Chainsaw Man. I guess I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about Chainsaw Man, Antoine, because that the the first couple episodes. That's why I was saying. That's why I said you got to. That's why I said you ease them in before you show them something like Chainsaw Man. Okay. <laughs> I, from from experience, you know my my girlfriend. She is not into you know the thrillers, the gory stuff, and she she enjoyed Attack on Titan. That first episode, you know, it makes it all cute rainbows at first, but then it gets to the nitty gritty at the end, and you like, what just happened? And after that first episode, yeah, she was hooked. It, like, it go from zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> I think real quick, like real quick. It's like. You know how to, you know how anime be. They gonna show, you know, everybody happy, happy, fun time. You know, oh, this is so cute. You know, the children playing. Then, bam, this giant man kicking down the wall. <laughs> All hell just it's like right whoa, there. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so okay, I'd agree. I think if I did have to show them something, if I had to show a Demon Slayer type thing, since you mentioned that, I would probably start with the movie. Yeah, I, I think the movie would probably be a good start. I agree. I, agree I, th- with I you. think that's something that could appeal to a lot of people. Yeah, Demon. <sighs> but then, but then you'll have to think about: Do people like seeing the main character cry a lot? Because that's that's the problem with my hero and Demon Slayer. Tanjiro and and Midoriya cries so much. Like that's that's a hurdle it's, people got to get over. Midoriya for my hero, yeah, yeah, he cries a lot. Yeah, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to be careful of that. Yeah, I, <laughs> you got, yeah, you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. So let's get on to our next question. Which fictional character do you feel like you relate to the most? 
what fictional character do I feel like I relate to the most? Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta think about that one. I, I yeah, think I, I gotta, gotta think, think about, about that, that one. <laughs> Cause I just I can't just say any character, you know. Okay. Yeah. You can't just say your favorite character. You gotta say somebody that's really mm. just like who really channels Ralph? Who who speaks Ralph? <laughs> who speaks Ralph? Oh boy. I would have to say um I cannot remember his name, but the I wanna say his name was Enon, Eno or something like that. Enon, the 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 black guy that was Who? in the black guy that was in Killer B's um, clan, the Black Lightning guy. I cannot remember his name. I'm I'm having a blank. Oh, you are you talking about the one with the lollipop it, that always has that lollipop in his mouth, or the different? No. It's another one too, though. I can't remember his name. Oh God, the aid, the cousin. E- Yes, the black uh the Kaze Kaze is a not Killer B, but the one that's the pretty much the one that be with Killer B. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. Uh he had like a sword. Uh well both of them had a sword, oh, but um uh, I know who you're talking about though. Hold on. Let me let me do my research. Amoe. Cause didn't he become the Kaze Kage? I think Amoe. Okay, okay, yeah. That that's who I feel okay. like channels me because just I looking at his character, he's very, you know, cool, laid back until you piss him off, and I feel like that's that's why I draw the line. Like I'm very, you know, cool, laid back. I observe a lot, but you know, you're good until you cross that line. Don't need to be crossed. That's that's when you see the the part you don't want to see of me. Cause I'm not too assertive or anything like that, but if you cross me the wrong way, oh, you you're not gonna want to do it again. But you know that that's why I feel like fictional character. I, I can see that. Else. Okay, along those lines, because now that I'm thinking about it, now that I mentioned that guy that always has the sucker in his mouth with the lollipop, whose name I don't remember. Oh, wait. Is that the one you... Wait. Okay. Maybe I'm confused. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, so his, his, his name was Amoi. Like O-M-O-I? Mm-hmm. Is that the one you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're saying that's the one that you relate to the most? Yes. Because I know it's two. It's, it's okay, Amoi, so I was thinking and about I cannot remember the other another one. Guy. I was thinking about another guy whose name I can't remember. Dowry. Dowry is the other uh, one. They're brothers. Oh man, I hate that. Okay, 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 okay. I think I th- that's the one I thought you were saying you relate to the most. Wait, hold on. Did I say the wrong one? Can't believe I. Hmm. I may have gotten them confused. I, I, I know remember. they're brothers. I yeah, guess I it's been a minute confused. since I actually. Yeah, I meant I meant Dari. I meant the wrong one. Okay. 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 That's the one I was thinking about for you. That's the one. <laughs> Cause I I I, I Cause knew I had, it was one of them, and I know Amelie, they were brothers. Um, it's been a minute since I watched the Putin, so I can't remember. But um, I, and I don't watch Barto, so. But I I, I yeah, will say I um I I can see that I can see that part and. I, and I remember the guy, so Amui is the guy with the lollipop in his mouth. He was kind of like that joking. He was kind of, he kind of like joking. Yeah. He didn't really take things serious. But you know, he took he took it serious when he needed to take it serious. So, I, I, okay. I like that. I like him. That's the one I like. If I had to say between those, mm-hmm. yeah, I'd say, I, I'd say I'm more like that guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we brothers. It's not because he's black either. <laughs> so we brothers. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> yep. I definitely, that. I definitely be in the cloud. 
in the in, in Cloud Village if I was in Naruto. <laughs> Same. I'd be chilling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Next question. All right. I'm not. PlayStation or Xbox? Hmm. Hmm. So I've owned both. And what's crazy is I'm looking at my PS5 right now. <laughs> I was just going to, because that was going to be a follow-up. I was like, what do you have right now? <laughs> as, um, as his PlayStation 5 is staring at him, so like you don't see me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just sitting there like, so you don't see me looking at you right now, waiting to answer this question. <laughs> um, Why are you thinking about it? Why? <laughs> I would, I would say, I would say lately I have been buying a lot more PlayStation products. Um, so right now I have to say PlayStation. However, Xbox does have their advantages. It's just the fact that I play a lot more PlayStation based games right now. You know, I, I still hate the fact that PlayStation does not have Discord. So I'm I'm still upset mm-hmm. about that. But I mean, it all in all, PlayStation isn't that bad as except for maybe the controllers. That's about it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I know my opinion would be biased because I've never owned an <laughs> Xbox, so I'm gonna oh, automatically wow. have to say PlayStation. I think we may have, as a matter of fact, my I, growing up there was one this one Christmas. Um, I asked we, me and my other two brothers, we asked our dad for like a PlayStation Two. He must have walked in that house with an Xbox, and we was like, we don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> We might have been a bit spoiled in that aspect because I think they returned the Xbox and went to go get us a uh, PlayStation. Because <laughs> I think PlayStation Two back then it was like, 2, man, yeah, was I, it's no substitute. I want this PlayStation Two. I don't know what you walk in this house with this Xbox for. <laughs> I don't want that. That ring of death. Get that out of here. What play. is this? <laughs> that. <laughs> Now like, I no. skip. I skip Mm-mm, PlayStation Three. Get that. Mm-mm. I skip the PlayStation Three. <laughs> I went and got an Xbox 360 okay. that year because <laughs> like, that's that was pretty much after you know the Ring of Death was figured out, and then they made a black Xbox 360, which was the one that came out with the PS3. <laughs> now that's the one I own. I loved it, enjoyed it, and then I went right back right. to PlayStation. I think I know. Hmm. I, I I think we had, yeah we had a PlayStation One and I so I think I've had all the Playstations up until this point. PlayStation mm-hmm. One through five. Yeah. So my so, question yeah, is, my opinion is now definitely that we, biased. <laughs> excuse me. My question is now that we still on game consoles, do you remember the PlayStation Portable that had the screen on it? Wait, ask your question again. I couldn't hear you. So do you, I don't know if you remember or not, but PlayStation made a little console. They had a little flip up screen that you still could use the actual CD in. Do you remember that? The little console with the flip up screen? Yes. So so right after PlayStation made the PlayStation uh, 1, they made a PlayStation, the first PlayStation kind of portable console to where you can literally put it in your bag. It was it was literally maybe about this big. This is how big it was. And you could put it in your bag, take it with you, you know, put your controllers in there. It still had um adapter ports for your memory card and stuff. It was it was real nice. I enjoyed it. Um a very a very low number of people actually bought it, which was crazy. But it was fun nonetheless. 
I play Twisted Metal on it all the time. Yeah. I, <laughs> I actually never, um, me personally, I never had any of the PlayStation portables. Uh, I know my brother had uh, the PlayStation, uh, what was it? Uh, what, the PSP? I remember the brain for it. The place, what was it? The little handheld PlayStation. Uh, the PSP? God, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, the PSP. That's all it was. Well, I thought it was something different. But yeah, the PSP. I didn't have one of those myself. My brother had one, but I think that was the only like PlayStation Portable anything we had. Yeah, I didn't. I and didn't it was cool. It was them. fun. Uh, I never owned one. I used to play it without asking. I used to play his. <laughs> like, go in his room and take it. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. So yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. So, next question. What personal challenges, if any, do you plan to diminish in 2023? Personal challenges that I would like to diminish is, you know, of course, losing a little bit more weight, staying healthy. Um, but one thing that I would like to you know, continue instead of letting it fall by the white side is streaming. I would like to stream more. I, I want to, I want to stream more. And it's not even really to, um, it, it's not even really the fact of, you know, finding different avenues of making money. It's, it's really just the fact that I enjoy gaming. You know, I, I just want, you know, that gaming is my escape space. So being able to open my escape space to others and, you know, allow others to also, you know, come hang out with me, you know, talk, chat it up. You know, I want to create a safe space for people to come and just kind of hang out and, you know, you know, like kind of feel my presence, but not be, you know, here with me physically, you know, just kind of hang out like 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 any other old time. Yeah. So that's pretty. That's okay, pretty yeah. much I what I would like to diminish. Cool. Nice goal to have. I yeah. I don't know. I think I, I've I've been I've been off my gaming too, but I do agree with you. It's kind of like an escape, you know. Once you just get so immersed into it, it's it's nice, you mm -hmm. know. It can, it can be therapeutic for some people. Yeah, I definitely find it on that therapeutic side. You know, especially after a long day of work, you know, coding. Of course, I'm sitting in front of screens at work, but you know, it's 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 not it's not the same. It's just turn on the game and just kind of sitting here, maybe listening to music or something, and just kind of chilling, vibing out to your game. Okay, okay, okay. It's nice. All right, let's bring it back into the podcast. So. Next question. What makes the Blurred Mob podcast unique in your opinion? I would have to say I would have to say our ability to not fake the funk, not even to say, you know, like podcasts do fake the funk, but it, it feels a lot genuine. It doesn't feel like, you know, we're forcing the conversations to happen, you know, like for instance, it, it, it sometimes is days where if we can't, you know, really figure out what we want to always talk about for, you know, a podcast stuff. So we just pretty much kind of wing it based on, you know, what what have we found, you know, that day or even like little tidbits of maybe what pop in our heads of like pretty much our normal conversation we would normally have. Like say, for instance, we run across something like, hey, you know, how do you feel about this? And then we'll just go off the dome with it. It's not a it's not always, you know gonna be a scripted thing with us because we're we don't we don't really you know feel like scripted is the way to go all the time because anybody can run off a script you know it, it takes it takes actual you know friendship and stuff to be able to be like all right we just gonna talk about a couple of topics from this and you know if you have some extra stuff let's throw it in let's just keep it moving like we're in a normal conversation it's like without cameras off just us talking so I really enjoy that uniqueness about us just to be able to just have a normal conversation and still be able to actually genuinely laugh about things and pretty much just have that nice, 
you know, enjoyable feeling for pretty much anybody to come in and enjoy. And, you know, we want to, we want to be able to share that with everybody else. Okay. I do like that. Uh, nothing like that unscripted content, you know, yeah. <laughs> those genuine laughs, you know, this is not a scripted prompt no. okay laugh now <laughs> this is like <laughs> yeah. it's like every, you know, it's everything you see in our podcast is like straight is, i think i i, I... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah i think it's just your natural selves just yeah. in front of a camera that's it <laughs> okay so next question what have you learned from being on the Blur Mob podcast? I have learned that it is all right to be, you know, a blur. You know, like, especially when we were growing up, you know, anime wasn't really accepted. Um, you know, quote, like, quote unquote, things that were out of the norm, which, we, which was things that we found that was normal back in our day is now being accepted now. Back then, we didn't have, you know, a lot of anime, mm -hmm. you know, shirts, anime, uh, clothing and things like that going on. Like we we pretty much kind of. I would say kind of hid in the shadows with like things that we've really enjoyed and things that we liked because back then, you know, people would get bullied for for things like that. You know, no, no tea, no shade. But that's mm -hmm. that's pretty much just what it was back then. But nowadays, it's it's becoming a lot more and a lot more of like acceptable to the communities, and you know it's becoming a lot more worldwide thing that people are like openly watching anime. You have you know celebrities coming in and saying they're openly watching anime, they're openly doing this, you know, and I'm I'm really enjoying that now because you know just to look back at how it was like ten years ago alone, is it, it was a lot has changed as far as you know the blurred world and you know what you enjoy you know expressing it in what you wear what you buy you know buying all these collectibles you know things like that like if for instance i'm still getting my collectible stuff you know together i don't even have my posters up i have i have actual posters of the akatsuki like that i normally will have on my wall like right behind me every time my podcast uh, you know i'm i'm really just happy yeah. that you know, every everything is changing for for the good. So that's pretty much it. I agree with that. You know, it is it is a lot more accepted now. You know, you know, blurts united all around yeah. the world. <laughs> I think Enjoy it's a great it. thing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Well, along those lines, what motivates you to keep making content for the Blurred Mob? It's kind of already answered, but is it anything <laughs> even more specific? Um, what motivates me to make more content? Pretty much just, you know, is, as long as there's things out there to, you know, talk about in any realm of just being the Blurred, you know, we'll talk about it. If fans have like, you know, ideas for us, of course we'll take it and uh, you know, run it through and see how, you know, how can we incorporate this into, you know, our next podcast or even our next mob review or even, you know, any kind of versus Tuesday. You know, we'll we'll definitely consider that and throw it into, you know, our ideas and run it through the mill, see what happens, you know. Like it's 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 a lot of reasons that you know, continues to bring me enjoyment from from being a part of this podcast. You know, it it pretty much allows me to explore my creative side with graphic design because, you know, I I am a artistic person. Um, I don't get a lot of chance to do it because I do work in the tech industry, and you know, it's not a lot of times that we actually get to work. You know, like doing things that are creative so this allows my creative juices to flow and you know just kind of explore new things uh, work on my craft and you know just kind of show people what what i have you know that's pretty much it 
making things great for the podcast so everybody enjoys it. Spreading the creative juices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) Okay. Okay, nothing like doing something you love. Now, that brings me to you because you are also a part of this podcast. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Come on with it, Antoine. What's up? What? Answer the question. What, what, was, what was the question? <laughs> the question you just told me. The question you just asked me. Oh, oh, oh. What, okay, so what, 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 what motivates me to keep going? Okay, okay. I think I um, kind of sort of on, on along the same lines as you. Um, it's just doing something that you really enjoy. So uh, me, I'm not really like, the face of the podcast like you guys are I'm kind of in the background but I think I kind of just like enjoy creating things I think I do a lot of the audio editing um and that's something I enjoy as well I don't I don't it's not one of those things that you like what that I ever thought that I would like enjoy doing but it, mm-hmm. you know I think in the field of like technology I just think anything that deals with technology I kind of just want to learn and so I just say, I, I learned how to do that. I know how to do that. I kind of know some of the ins and outs now. And I think, so learning that, the, con- the, the content that is put out, because I was also a part of those, you know, college conversations we used to have for hours on hours back yeah. at uh, Jackson State. Um, I think, I mean, it's kind of natural for me too. I'm going to listen to the podcast and I'm going to laugh at the things you guys are saying because, <laughs> I mean, I just enjoy the, I just enjoy the conversations. I enjoy, um, the episodes, the versus Tuesdays, the interviews, all of that type of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm definitely uh, happy to be a part of the team. I'm actually happy to be doing this as well. So I think it's something different. That is true. That is true. Mm-hmm. Good answer. Good truly, answer. Antoine. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I promise I didn't rehearse it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so this brings me to my last question of the day. What can oh, wow. we expect from the Blurred Mob podcast in 2023? You can expect a lot more, you know, ideas. Um, we do have some things in the works. I can't say exactly what, um, but we do have some things coming for this year. Um, you will see us again at DreamCon, of course, we will be there, you know, spreading the love, um, mm-hmm. getting to meet more people, introducing ourselves to more people, and just kind of connecting with the entire, you know, DreamCon community and the creators that are also there, you know, getting the chance to meet them. Because, you know, people that we, the people that we meet at DreamCon, you know, we are, at least we have at least heard of some of them. And, you know, we get to meet different other creators that, you know, get to explore the realm of um, also doing podcasts or even just um, Twitch streamers, YouTube streamers, Facebook streamers, you know, just kind of all getting together to just have a good time and, you know, enjoying the things that we all love the most, which is anything that just makes you happy at DreamCon because it's really your dream. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. Be yourself. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Good answers. I good <laughs> answers to all the questions. <laughs> well, I yeah, like I said, scripted. that was that was my last question. <laughs> Pinky promise. Scout's honor. I wasn't a scout, but still. <laughs> I was. <laughs> okay. Well, Ralph, yeah. You were? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Boy Scout. <laughs> yeah, you might as well say yeah. Did you have a lot? Yeah, I had I had an entire sash and everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are That's really great. figuring out and some stuff about me. I never this knew is that. crazy. <laughs> and I want to see pictures. This is wild. <laughs> now, I don't I don't know if there are pi- we'll have we'll have to go back down to Mississippi for that. We'll have to go back down to Mississippi for that. 
One day. <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so anything else you had? If Because uh, that's all the questions I had. Um, no, not really. Um, thank you for doing this interview. Uh, this was actually really fun. Um, I was not expecting this to go this long at all. I didn't, I really didn't know what expectations I had for this, but I really enjoyed it. Um, this was fun. (laughs) We got some good laughs and, um, thank you for, for being a part of this podcast with us. Thank you for everything that you're doing. For this podcast and we love it. of course oh my god heart heart love you heart. guys <laughs> 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 all right <laughs> all right well ralph thank you again for being a part of this i have enjoyed this interview i'm happy to uh, hear that you've enjoyed it as well um, I wish you, of course, and the rest of the team, nothing but the best of 2023, myself, and I'm sure those who are listening in or watching this podcast are kind of going to be looking forward to seeing you guys at any of the events that you plan to attend in 23. So um, there's nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and take us out. Um, catch you next time. Peace. Peace. Hands up. If you love them, where you at? Stand ten toes down, shot. Ain't no looking, ain't no looking, man. You can let them haters hate.